Hi, it's David from Solid WP. We're getting a lot of questions about the vulnerability in the BRICS theme that was disclosed last week. Here's everything you need to know and what you need to do about it. First of all, if you're using the BRICS theme on any website, pause this video and go update it right now if you haven't already done so since this disclosure was announced. You're looking for a version that is 1.9.6.1 or newer. So why would I say stop the video and go update right now? That's because this vulnerability earned itself a 10.0 on the CVSS scale. If you're not familiar, that scale measures the severity of a bug. And in this case, a 10.0 means it is the worst of all kinds. It's actually very hard to get a 10.0 score on the CVSS, but this one does. And here's why. It creates an opportunity for remote code execution on your site from an unauthenticated user. What does that mean? It's a drive-by attack. Literally anybody with a web browser who knows what they're doing can take over your website and do anything they want to with your website. That means they could be putting affiliate links everywhere, replacing all your content, injecting malware, or doing just about any other nefarious thing you might be able to imagine. And what's worse is that a skilled attacker would be able to do this in a way that you might not realize is happening, especially if you're logged in as an administrator on your site. Now you might be asking yourself, should I stop using the BRICS theme? Absolutely not. There's no reason to stop using the BRICS theme. Anybody can make a mistake. What you're looking for in a plugin or theme developer is that they will take immediate action as soon as they find out that there's an issue. And in this case, the BRICS team did exactly that. The security researcher who discovered the vulnerability reported it to them privately in an act that we call responsible disclosure. And the BRICS team created a, an update for their theme right away. In fact, the time between when they heard about the problem and when the update was made available is measured in hours. That's exactly what you want from anybody who finds out that there's a security problem with code that they've created. So no, I don't recommend that you stop using the BRICS theme. In fact, they've proven themselves to be the kind of developer that you want to purchase products from. So kudos to the BRICS team. Now, what if you didn't patch right away? What should you do if you're just now finding out about this and updating today, but your site has been vulnerable for days or even weeks since the disclosure of the vulnerability? Well, here's what I recommend. The best thing to do is assume that your site was taken over, potentially in a way that you can't immediately detect, and therefore you're gonna to wanna to restore from a backup of your website from right before, preferably immediately before, the disclosure of this vulnerability. Keep in mind that if you do that, you will immediately need to update the BRICS theme again to version 1.9.6.1 or newer. And that's because your backup will have a vulnerable version of the plugin in it. Now, what if you made a lot of content or other changes to the site in the interim? So you're restoring from this backup from prior to the disclosure and there are content changes on your site that you're now gonna lose. Well, what I would recommend is that you take a backup from today of your site and restore it to like a staging or a test development environment, somewhere where you can take a look at the content changes and then bring them over to your newly restored backup uh, uh, of your site. The new live version of your site, if you will, that has now been restored from a backup and also has had the update to the theme applied to it. That way you can have the best of all worlds. Now, if you have a more complicated situation, like you have an e-commerce store or other site that has more frequent database updates, then your restore process is gonna be a little bit more complicated and you might wanna think that through in a little bit more detail. Now you might be asking, how could I protect myself from something like this happening in the future? Well, here's just the reality of the situation. None of us can be awake 24 hours a day, seven days a week to install every update to every plugin and theme or even the WordPress core right when the update comes out. And so what do you do if you can't apply patches immediately? Well, that's where we at the Solid Security team are thrilled about our integration with PatchStack's virtual patching service. If you have a Solid Security Pro license, then you can activate virtual patching from PatchStack on your site. And what that does is it allows the PatchStack team to intercept traffic to your website and modify the site in such a way that no one can take advantage of the vulnerability 
between the time they learn about it and the time that you update whatever the item is. In the case of this particular vulnerability, the patch stack team learned about it first. And that's because the security researcher who discovered it disclosed it via the patch stack platform and they were able to begin virtually patching sites before the BRICS team even made the update available to their users. And so that is the kind of thing that you want to happen on your website. You want virtual patching in place to protect you and your site's visitors from any vulnerabilities and any bad actors that might be up to no good in the time between when something is discovered and when you're able to apply the update to your website. Patch stack virtual patching is included with every Solid Security Pro license. And so if you're not yet a Solid Security Pro user, then we invite you to give it a try today. You're gonna love what patch stack virtual patching will do for you. Now we're gonna wrap it up there, but if you're a technical person and you want all the really technical nitty gritty details of exactly how this exploit worked, well, we'll provide a link to a resource for you so you can check those details out. And in the meantime, if you have questions about this or anything else related to security for your WordPress website, we invite you to please ask those questions and we'll do our best to respond here and in future updates to you. Thanks very much.